Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another vlog. Hope you guys are all doing well. I've literally not made a vlog on this channel for ages, but I'm back making vlogs. I'm currently getting myself ready, so as you can see, I actually have my suitcase right there. Um, where am I going, you may ask? I'm literally, oh, the focus is off. Yeah, there we go. So, my church, we are planting a new location in Durham, and tomorrow I'm going there with, yeah, some of my friends from my church, and literally gonna be dry. I'm literally waking up at like 3.30, and tonight I have a church leaders meeting and it finishes around 10 so basically we're getting home around 11 then I need to basically get a couple, probably get like 2 hours sleep, 3 hours sleep, a quick power nap and then literally just leave, someone's going to pick me up and then we're going to drive down there and get there really early. This whole week I basically want to bring you guys along with me just seeing basically what I get up to, we're going to, you know, if you also, if you're watching this video and you know anybody that's living in the city of Durham and that's looking for a church or small groups, please do let me know, contact me on my Instagram, it's the link down below. Um, yeah, I'd love to connect with any of your friends or any of your family members to come to that location, it'll be really awesome. But yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys along this week and yeah, come with me as I vlog and yeah, right now I'm just getting ready. <laughs> So I'm editing the video right now, as you can see. But I realized that I didn't even explain why I was on stage and basically what I was doing, basically, you know, all that kind of stuff. So basically, um, my church, we've been doing these leadership leadership trainings, leadership meetings every single Monday. And my pastor um, was in a session about, you know, how we can reach our world for Jesus and how we can tell people about Jesus about the gospel and grow our small groups and grow the church. And my pastors gave me and my friend Haley, she also goes to my church as well. We basically are very involved in our social media, um, you know, to do with our church. And yeah, she gave us an opportunity basically just to speak upon how we basically use social media to reach our world. I mean, I've been using social media to grow my small group and to grow also the church as well. And so, yeah, we basically spoke upon that. I'm gonna show you guys a, a few clips, probably like a one minute clip um, right now after me speaking. But yeah, man, if you're literally not using your social media um, to bring people, if you're a Christian and you, and you are wondering how you could bring people to your church, to your small group, really tell people about Jesus, use what's in your hands. I kind of um, spoke about revelation that I've got on using, using you know, what the Bible says about using what's in your hands um, in the video, in the, you're going to see me share it basically as I was on stage. But yeah, man, use what's in your hands, reach your world. And yeah, I hope this encourages you or somehow, I don't know. But um, yeah, let's carry on with the vlog. Should anyone consider social media? Um, it's a massive tool. I mean, yeah. I am 20 and people in my generation are always on social media. Yeah. Yeah. I think majority of people in this room are young adults and the world isn't getting less technological or getting more technological. Yeah. So I personally believe that as CRC, as a church, but also as the body of Christ, mm. I'm going to do Thank you so much. Um, like if we all have Wi Fi, we all have data, yeah. and we all can be used as an agent on know? social media oh, to spread the Bible, and as Pastor said, through our home cells. Discipleship cannot just happen through social media, yeah. it really has to happen through face to face interaction. Yeah. I mean, we see that through also through the Bible with Jesus as well. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I was going to say, I think. When I started, the main revelation I got was from Moses. I mean, you all know the story of Moses in Exodus. Moses was called by God to free the Israelites, the, the, the people of God, out of captivity. And um, when Moses stood before God, God was a burning bush. God said to Moses, you know, use what's in your hands. Yeah, and what was in Moses' hands was his staff. And if you read the, the, the story of Moses, you know, through that staff, God was able to do miracles and come on, so right now it's just the morning. I'm literally just getting myself ready. I didn't sleep, which I hope that wasn't a bad call because I'm literally, so going to Durham is literally just a five hour drive. Um, but I'm getting, someone's picking me up at 3.30. So hopefully I can at least get like six hours to five hours to sleep. Cause yeah, I didn't sleep at all. Um, so yeah, I'm literally just, ugh, like, yeah, but God is good. Um, and um, yeah, I just need to get myself ready because my brain is, yeah. As you can see, everything is just packed up in the bags and just put finishing finish put some stuff in there and also I'm taking some other stuff with me as well. But yeah, then I'm gonna get going. Um 
and guys honestly i'm just tired <laughs> i'm so tired but i'm really expecting man like we're gonna be doing basically evangelism outreaches and then also just so on the wednesday we're having like this glory event basically um or we're calling it something else this year but basically having this basically this event we're trusting for just so many people to come so many people to give their lives to jesus literally just see revival take place in Durham um, I'm really excited to just yeah experience that like, all God's gonna do and just just be a part of it I mean I'm from London as you guys know already should know already but just to really be a part of it it's just such an honor so yeah um get myself ready and I'll catch you guys when I'm in the car or probably see some shots now <laughs> So hey guys, right now I am in our rooms, literally just in the hotel room, as you guys can see. This this is the beds and everything got set up there. Um, yeah, it's been really good so far. Just been evangelizing, just been reaching out to people. Um, I think me and my friend, we got like six numbers that people that we're going to call up and then they're going to come to our event tomorrow. So I'm super excited to see how it's all going to turn out. Really trusting for just, yeah, revival to take place in um yeah this, this event that's happening we're planting a new church in um durham so if you as i said earlier if you're living in the city of durham message me love to connect you to the awesome church that we're planting here um but yeah it's been so so good so far um but yeah i'll catch you guys up later you probably see like snippets of what i'll get to but yeah. <laughs> guys it's day number two i'm literally just all ready 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 yeah we're literally about to go out right now the time is like what 10 you see us go out right now no it's not 10 was it 10 i think it's 10 yeah so me evangelizing and um yeah we're just gonna go on the streets now and quickly go um yeah the later one we have the event which is gonna be so amazing like all the people that we've ev evangelized to spoke to on the streets basically they're gonna come to the event tomorrow in jesus name and then it's gonna be really good man i'll be doing so also i think i told you i'm part of my media team some new media there tomorrow but it's gonna be really good so i'll be trying to vlog a little bit of it i don't know what i can capture um but it's gonna be really good man um and then what's i gonna say as well um don't know look at the fit i'll show you the fit this is the outfit also just wearing jordan's black t-shirt this is the top that they gave us and my gillette so yeah this guy <laughs> you'll sleep on the bed i literally like, just where you literally woke up no, you like. You was, did it look like I was sleep talking? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, basically, you was sleeping, and then you woke up coughing, <laughs> and you was like, "Bro, I can't breathe. I can't breathe." <laughs> you sure you weren't dreaming? No, I was a dream because I literally, yeah, because I was, I, I got in a shower, yeah. and I was, I was like, "Bro, you're right." Oh, this is just when you got out of the shower. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And I was like, so I wasn't even that deep into sleep. I was like, "Bro, are you okay?" And I was then like, like five minutes into sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, sleeping with Tolly. <laughs> I'll yeah. try and behave tonight. <laughs> yeah. How are you? How are you feeling about? Understand. How are you feeling about tonight? I'm actually so excited. About yeah. Ironing my shirt now, making sure yeah. I look good. Make sure you look good for kids' church. Yeah. There's just gonna be a lot of people. Everyone we've spoken to is gonna be there, man. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. And I went to this uni, so I'm happy for the city. Yeah. Very happy for the city. That's really good. Yeah. So I was literally just calling through the numbers, and one person's coming, which is so good. So. Amen. If one person comes to salvation, the whole of heaven rejoices. Amen. So um, it's going to be really good. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hello, guys. I'm vlogging. The Wi Fi is terrible. Tell them to you. Come on, man. The Wi Fi. I can't even see you. The Wi Fi is terrible. It's not working. So we're currently in the hotel room right now. Nothing um, to do. And the Wi Fi is just doing absolute trust. Managed to connect my phone to the laptop, as you can see. This is what the room looks like. I don't know if I showed you guys, but. The room don't really make sense, but we're making it work. <laughs> yeah, making it work. Um, yeah, so tomorrow is actually the glory event, the event, no, not the glory event. We used to call it the event, the encounter event. Um, I don't have what to say really. I'm tired. The harvest event. Who are you? Do you want to introduce yourself? Is that me? That is you. Yeah, guys. What's up? My name's Tolu. I'm a born again Christian. I'm from CRC. 
That's it, really. That's all the important stuff, anyway. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Um, any motivational stuff you want to say to them? Motivational stuff. Let me give you guys a scripture. Dear brothers and sisters, whenever you go through trials, consider it pure joy. I can't remember the rest. Okay, Something cool. about when your endurance is being tested, you'll be perfect, lacking nothing. It's a really good scripture. James 1 verse 2. Read it up. Cool. Thanks for the motivation, my G. Can I bring other people? I'll just check my password. I don't know about you, but I don't want the devil to use me for all his schemes. I would rather say, God, you use me for your, your schemes. Amen. That is the truth of every human being. Every human being without Jesus has a master called Satan getting you to do what he wants you to do. So let us not sugarcoat things here. Don't get angry with me. Because the Bible says it's the truth that will set you free. I'm not here to accuse you. I've been there. Bought the t-shirt. I'm a chief sinner. That's why I see you. It's okay if you don't agree. But I am going to gently give you the truth. Because all we need, every one of us, is a change of heart. Amen. Amen. You see, this is what religion does. Religion gets you to serve God here. Amen. But God's not interested in that. God is interested in your heart. Amen. God wants to take out your sinful heart and give you His heart. Amen. That's why we all need a change of heart. And the Bible says over here, so that those who hear will allow God to change their hearts. And they will learn the truth. Then they will come to their senses yeah. and escape from the devil's trap. He said goodbye with words I cried a hundred times. You go. Hi, Denise. Hello. This is my friend Denise. We can't see. This is my friend Denise, guys. You can see us. Hello. Hi. How did you find this event? Like, how did you find this whole trip week? Uh, it was really bad. Bad? <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Yeah, it was really, really bad. Wow. Okay. Cool. All right. So um, and the and the and. I had to, I had to work with Kane, you know, and it's not easy. Wow. Okay. Cool. <laughs> it's Actually, really. It's... How was her event? <laughs> she what <wasn't> doing? Are <laughs> you serious? We're not trying to like pose here. <laughs> I'm asking you a question. That's what I'm doing, Denise. I already told you it was really good. <laughs> oh, so it's really good. I already yeah. told you. Right. This is a <laughs> That's what's going on. It's literally day number three. It's time we go home today. Um, literally, it's, literally, it's nine a.m. and I'm so tired. Like, oh, I think me and Tony literally stayed up until like three, three, four last night, just having some deep converse and talking about life, basically. But yeah, um, I'm literally so tired. But I need to go get up. Then we're leaving in like an hour, half an hour, going back to London. Um, and then, yeah, it'd be really cool. And then today, I want to go back. I have, um, I recorded a, so I work with like a social media company called The Way UK, which I think I might have told you guys already that I do that. Um, but I'm going to be good. So we recorded with, I recorded with them on, where is it? I recorded them last week. Um, but then we missed some recordings. So I'm going to quickly go meet up with them in London when we get back um, to record some last stuff with them. And then also, um, what was going to say as well? And then also is one of my uh, friend's birthday, birthdays today. So we're going to be going, uh, after, and after that, I'm going to actually be heading to the restaurant to go to their birthday. But yeah, I'm really excited, super excited to go. It's going to be amazing. Um, it'd be really good, man, to celebrate my friend's birthday. After that, go home and sleep because I'll be knackered about the like, You see my eyes, what my eyes are. Literally just woke up. Yeah, and then Friday I have work, Saturday I have work, and then Sunday I got church. So busy, busy, busy schedule. Um but I love it, I'm loving it. But I hope you guys are liking this vlog and this vlog's been I do, I do not know how because I've been vlogging different parts, so hopefully I can make something out of this vlog. And you guys are going to like it. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a good one. We'll continue to vlog. Literally, I think I'm going to try vlog quite a lot now, actually. Um, quite a lot. So, yeah. All right. Well, Tony has now left. We literally just cleaned the whole, the whole hotel room. 
Um, I was going to pack up my laptop and then some few other things. And then, yeah, I'm bouncing, going back to London. Um, yeah, man, this trip has been absolutely amazing. I think I might have said that before, but man, like, just being able to like come down to this little town um, in Durham and be able to just talk about people and talk, talk to people about the faith. I mean, let me close this because I thought like this is really loud for you guys. But um, yeah, like really talk to you guys, talk to you guys, talk about, talk, talk to people about the faith, talk to people literally just about Jesus, really like see people actually like really just open up their hearts to the gospel. It's been absolutely amazing. I definitely think when I go back to London, I'm definitely going to take back this, just this, being able to step out in faith, basically, and being able to just do more for God. Like, I think that's something, I think definitely on this whole trip, my heart has definitely been so much more open and so much more ready and so much more like just active to do more basically so yeah man uh, it's been really fun really good um i literally have nothing else to say <laughs> i'm still getting used to vlogging i feel like you know i watch all these vloggers and they, they vlog so they got stuff to say but i feel like when i pick, pick up the camera i just have nothing to say i don't know it's weird um but yeah i hope everyone is well <laughs>